Hello and welcome to CI in under five. My name is John Weezy, and in this episode, I'm going to walk you through a feature that just recently released uh, in preview, and that is suggested segments. So uh, one of the popular requests is, uh, is there a way using machine learning to suggest potential segments uh, that might be of interest? So um, we're going to walk through that today. Uh, you'll find under segments the suggestions preview. And I've already run this before, but I haven't created any, so I'm going to do it again, get new suggestions. And what you can see here is you have two different ways that you can uh, pick uh, how you're going to get your suggestions. If you're going to do it based off of a particular customer field, uh, or if you're going to get it based off of a measure. And we're going to do the first one here off of a measure. I'm going to use lifetime spend. Hit next. And then you pick the fields that you want that would influence the attributes. So any of the attributes that might cause uh, lifetime spend to change in a significant way are the things that you're that you think would cause lifetime spend to change in a significant way are the ones that you want to look at. So we're going to use a couple of things that we have here. We've got a, a loyalty tier that they're a member of, what their occupation is. Um, we've got um, where uh, they live. And we're going to also use their income. And that should just about do it, I think. So we'll use those. And I'm going to click Run. And it's going to go off and run. And so I'm going to step away for a moment. And when it's done, I will come back. OK, I'm back. It finished running. And uh, that didn't take very long at all. So you can see here what the system's done is it's used the fields that I picked from my customer uh, data, and it's gone off uh, and used the AI model to find interesting patterns between those uh, fields that I chose and how they affect lifetime spend compared to each other. And you can see it's given me some things here like uh, lifetime spend since it's a number, uh, the lifetime spend field that's going to give me a percentage above or below. Um, it's going to give me a high and a low percentage uh, both above and below. You can see here I actually got a couple of different below average. Uh, so I got two kind of similar ones. And then um, over here I got a, a higher below average. Uh, let's just take a look at one of these. Let's, let's look at like the 3% uh, or 8% of people uh, that are below. And when we click on one, we can see here, you know, how does this segment or, or suggested segment compare to all of our customers? So the average lifetime spend in the segment is about 800. The average of all customers is 869. So you can see it's about $70 a person lower on the average of the lifetime spend. And then the membership, you can see how many members it has and what percentage of, is that of all the customers that I have. And then what are some of the attribute values that I got? So in this case, the income uh, for this segment is greater than $27,000. Uh, and the income is or uh, or is less than uh, or equal to 135,708. And uh, the occupation of all of these people is teachers. And their loyalty tier is all of the tiers except high. Um, so, so you can get some interesting information here about uh, the data that you've chosen here to, to get suggested segments on. And then really the key is once you've got this, uh, what do you do with it? So how about we convert this to a segment. So let's look at our, um, let's look at the 38% above. And you can see it's only 8% of our, our customer population. Uh, and, but the, uh, spend is actually pretty good. It's, uh, almost, uh, 20, 20, $250 more, uh, per, um, actually $350 more, um, uh, per user, uh, or per customer compared to our normal customers. So I'm going to save this as a segment. You just give it a name and I'll leave the defaults in there. Uh, but you can name it whatever you want. And now I have that segment, and I can use that segment just like I can any other segments. So you can see here, it just shows up here. If I come in, I can say add that. No, I don't have export set up right now. Um, but if I did, I could add that to any of my export destinations that I have set up, um, and that would then be usable uh, to export and use that in my marketing journeys, for instance, um, or in targeted advertising or anything like that. So that is the suggested segments, which is now in preview. Hopefully you find this interesting and are able to take advantage of this new feature. And uh, we'll come back and join us uh, for our next video.